My name is Amanda Oakleaf, and I am owner of Amanda Oakleaf Cakes in Winthrop, Massachusetts, which is just five or ten minutes north of Boston. We make wedding cakes, sculpted cakes, birthday cakes, anything crazy over the top cake. Uh, we bake and design everything from scratch. Um, we even go as far as to make our fondant um, from scratch using a homemade marshmallow based recipe. So all of our creations taste as good as they look. I grew up baking with my mom and both of my grandmas. It was always a big tradition to go over to grandma's house and help her bake and decorate Christmas cookies for the family over the holidays. Um, and I can't ever remember having a store-bought cake for anyone's birthday. It was always a big thing to go get the cake book. My sisters and I would pick out the best design we wanted to do and we would help mom bake and decorate and design um, every birthday cake. So from there, I felt like we could always make any cake we wanted to make. I am originally from South Dakota, and I moved out to Boston to attend the Massachusetts College of Art and Design, where I studied fine arts, painting, oil painting, ceramics. Uh, while I was in school, I had a part-time job at Coldstone Creamery making ice cream cakes, and I also had a job with the local party planning company um, designing custom cakes for them as well. And about five years or so of working for other people, I decided that I wanted to do something more custom, more creative, um, more artistic cakes. So I started Oak Leaf Cakes. Our cakes are special because we approach everything from an artistic perspective. So I don't feel like I'm limited by traditional cake decorating techniques because I feel like I can make any design work. We try not to say no to any idea that a customer might have. Um, we make the medium work in any way possible. We always come up with a custom sketch of an idea, that way we can be on the same page as the customer to make sure that they have the perfect centerpiece for their party. As an oil painter, I tend to find subject matter that are everyday common objects um, that you would normally, you know, surpass, but I would paint them in such a way that would give them personality. For example, I found a pair of mop buckets in the hallway one day, and I painted them, and the finished result was a pair of mop buckets that appeared as though they were an old married couple. They had a personality, they had life to them. Um, so I take the same approach into cake decorating, and everything I do has that same personality, whether I'm piping on clouds, they're happy little clouds. If I'm sculpting a puppy, it's my puppy. Everything ends up having a personality. I'm not so much competitive with everyone else. I am not out to get all the other cake decorators. I'm more competitive with myself, always trying to make every cake better than the last, always improve on every creation. Um, I used to run track and cross country competitively, and that was all about improving your last performance, um, beating your personal best. Um, so we take that into cake. We're always looking for excuses to make over the top awesome cakes, uh, so much so that we're actually having a giveaway contest um, for a Stormtrooper cake later this year. So being on the Food Network Cake Challenge would be the ultimate excuse for us to create our most extreme cake yet. Oh hi. <laughs> My name is Amanda 